Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Sheridan County Journal Star.net coverage of Mustang Basketball 2015. We are 16 minutes and 45 seconds away from the opening tip of Western Trails Conference semifinal action as the Gordon Rushville Mustangs get ready to take on the Hemingford Bobcats here from Cougar Palace at WNCC in Scotts Bluff. Glad to have you along with us this afternoon. We will step aside momentarily and we will be back with some starting lineups and pregame activities in just a bit. In the meantime, if you are a Twitter follower, make sure that you post a tweet anytime during this first half and include the handle at SC Journal Star and we will be running a ticker at halftime with the uh, collection of those tweets. So let us know where you're watching from, who you're watching with, who you're cheering for. We'd be glad to put that up on the halftime ticker. So make sure you get on that. Pre-game clock says 15 minutes and 45 seconds before the start of this game. We'll step aside and we'll be back with some starting lineups in just a bit here on Sheridan County Journal Star.net coverage of Mustang Basketball 2015.
Well, let's take a look at some starting lineups here for these two teams as we get ready for semifinal action from the Western Trails Conference Tournament here on the campus of WNCC in the Cougar Palace. And a great thanks to the athletic department from WNCC as they've been very accommodating and helping us get onto their internet and uh, their network and let us do what we need to do to bring you some great basketball action. The Mustangs they got to this game with a win last night over the Morrill Lions at home by a score of 54 to 38. The Mustangs come into this game with a record of 11 wins and six losses. And the starting lineups this afternoon for the Mustangs. Number 11 is Haley Saar. She is a 5 foot 7 inch senior, averaging 10 points and 2 assists per game. Number 12 is Denny Jacobson. Denny Jacobson. She is a 5 foot 9 inch senior. She averages 3 points, 8 rebounds and 3 steals per game. Number 13, Josie Perez leads this team in scoring. She is a 5 foot 7 inch sophomore. She averages 16 points, 2 assists, 6 rebounds and 3 steals per game. Number 21, Ashton Sassy is a 5 foot 8 inch junior. She averages 6 points per game. And number 22, Carly Hinn, a 5'11 sophomore, averaging 5 points and 7 rebounds per contest. Again, the Mustangs improved their record last night to 11-6 and six with the win against the Morrill Lions. And probably what uh, coach and players alike agree was the most physical ball game that they had played all season long. It was a rough and tumble event, especially down low in the paint. And so the Mustangs look to recover from that tonight as they'll be taking on an extremely tough Hemingford Bobcat team that comes into today's game with a record of 16 wins and two losses. The Mustangs lost to this Hemingford Bobcat squad in the opening game of the season, and that was uh, a 63-53 to win for the Bobcats. The only two losses for Hemingford this season are to Class C1 Mitchell and to Class C1 Shadron, both of those teams in the Mustangs district. Starters today for the Hemingford Bobcats. Number 12 is Caitlin Kumpf. She is a 5'8 inch sophomore. She averages 7 points per game. Number 15, Brooke Turek, a 5'8 inch sophomore. She's the quarterback of this squad. She averages 14 points, 5 assists, 6 rebounds, and 4 steals per game. So she really does it all for the Hemingford Bobcats. Number 20 is Faith Roebuck. She is a 5'8 inch sophomore. She averages 11 points per game. Number 23, Christian Rosemerick is a 5 foot 6 inch senior. She averages 8 points per game. And number 25, the 6 foot sophomore, she is a force inside. She averages 14 points and 9 rebounds per game. So it is the 11 and 6 Gordon Rushville Mustangs and the 16 and 2 Hemingford Bobcats. We are under 8 minutes to go now in the pregame warmups. Glad to have you along with us. Let's take a look while we have a minute here. And we'll take a look at the bracket for the Western Trails Conference. And as we are now into the semifinals in the game that just concluded, uh, Mitchell uh, defeated Kimball. Kimball won uh, their game last night as they beat Bridgeport, moved into the semifinals. And that game earlier today, Mitchell defeated Kimball, and Mitchell moves into the championship game. And that will be played tomorrow evening at 530. The other semifinal, the one that we're just about ready to get underway, Gordon Rushville defeated Morrill, and Hemingford had no problem uh, dispensing with the Bayard Tigers last night. I think the final score was 70 to 28, something like that. So uh, handily done by the Bobcats last night. And so it'll be the Mustangs and the Bobcats in this second semifinal matchup. The winner will face off against the Mitchell Tigers 5.30 tomorrow evening. The loser will face Kimball tomorrow afternoon at 2 o'clock. Again, we'll... Throw this up for you again. If, you, uh, if you're a Twitter follower, make sure that you post a tweet now anytime during this first half and mention the handle at SC Journal Star, and we'll be sorting, searching through those tweets and we'll be posting those on the ticker at the half. Six and a half minutes left to go in the pregame. Let's step aside for a word from our sponsors here on Sheridan County Journal Star.net coverage of Mustang Basketball 2015. Hi, 
I'm Clint Anderson, and I hope you enjoyed today's game. Wherever we're broadcasting from, you can bet that I got there in a Ford vehicle from Sides and Milburn Ford in Rushville. I've been a Sides and Milburn customer for over 20 years, and I can't imagine going anywhere else to buy or trade vehicles. I may be able to find a cheaper vehicle somewhere else, but the hometown service I get at Sides and Milburn Ford is worth way more than a trip to Rapid City or Denver. I hope you enjoyed today's game. And when you're ready to trade vehicles, stop in and see the good folks at Sides and Milburn Ford in Rushville. Great Plains Communications. GPC TV is proud to announce our brand new weather feature on Channel 2. It is now your 24-7 location for current, local, and national weather using advanced satellite imaging. From today's temperature to the full five-day forecast, GPC TV has you covered. We will continue to air local sports in your favorite Husker programs. The other providers simply can't compete. When you need weather now, you need GPC TV on Channel 2. Tim Marlatt and Brian Felker at Physical Therapy West and Gordon have over 30 years of combined experience in providing physical therapy and sports medicine services. Contact PT West for care following injury, sprains, fractures, or treatment of joint, muscle, and back pain. PT West provides individualized rehabilitation following joint replacement, surgery, or stroke. Don't suffer, don't live with pain, and get back to the activities you enjoy. Call PT West at 308-282-0203 or stop by with questions at 100 South Main in Gordon. When it comes to your land, it pays to be smart. At New Holland, smart means giving you a wide range of options to fit your needs, like smooth cutting, plug-free conditioning, and versatility. Smart means putting more hay in the bale and leaving less in the field. It also means providing exceptional after-sale support and growing a legacy that goes far beyond equipment. That's New Holland Smart. Visit your local New Holland dealer today. And just under four minutes away from the start of today's basketball action semifinals between the Hemingford Bobcats and the Gordon Rushville Mustangs. Say thanks to today's sponsors. They make it possible for us to bring this action to you. Essence provides beautiful, fresh-cut flower arrangements for any occasion, and that includes Valentine's Day. They have a great selection of fine wines and gift items, including Kringle candles. Stop in and let Amber help you out with whatever you need to make your sweetheart happy this Valentine's Day. 117 North Main Street in Gordon. The First National Bank of Gordon proudly celebrates 125 years of locally made decisions and supporting our community. Stop in at 134 North Main Street in Gordon, or you can give them a call at 282-0050. Whether you're looking to buy or sell, look no further than Barb Share of Share Real Estate. Call Barb today at 282-1516, or you can stop by and see her in person at 300 South Main Street in Gordon. Family-owned since 1932, Strong Insurance is your independent insurance company, offering all forms of insurance. Stop in today at 224 North Main Street in Gordon. The good folks at Gordon True Value can get you fixed up with just about anything you might need. Whether you need to winterize it or defrost it, Buck and his crew can get you fixed up. Stop in at True Value in downtown Gordon today. And agent Bob Alcorn of State Farm Insurance is proud to support the Mustangs. State Farm specializes in farm and ranch insurance. Be sure to ask them about impact-resistant shingles and what they might do for your insurance rates. Stop in and see them at 127 North Main Street in Gordon or call 282-2080. And Grocery Mart in Gordon is proud to support the Gordon Rushville Mustangs. Stop in at 228 North Main Street for all of your grocery needs. So the Mustangs heading for the bench as they will make their final preparations for 
today's basketball action. Glad to have you along here on Sheridan County Journal Star.net coverage of Mustang Basketball 2015. I am Clint Anderson alongside trusty camera girl Gracie Perez once again to bring you some great shots of today's action. As the pregame clock winds its way down, we're under a minute to go now before the introductions of the starting lineups and ready to get this one underway. And remind you one more time, make sure you get those tweets in and include the handle at SC Journal Star and we'll have that ticker running at the halftime. Let us know where you're watching from and we'll get you on the air. So we're just about ready to turn this one over to the public address announcer. We'll hope that we can pick up that sound and we'll turn it over there now and see what we can get. The winner of this ball game will play tomorrow evening in the championship bracket at 5.30 against the Bay Tigers from Mitchell. So I'm not sure if we're going to be able to pick that up. We'll switch back over and we'll do it, uh, we'll do it the hard way here. We'll try and introduce these as they come out. Hemingford will be the visiting team as they're wearing their road red uniforms. And so the starters for the Hemingford Lady Bobcats. Number 12 is Caitlin Kump. She is a five foot eight inch sophomore, averaging seven points and four rebounds per game. Number 15 is Brooke Turek. She is a five foot eight inch sophomore. She averages 14 points, five assists, six rebounds, and four steals for this Bobcat squad. Number 20 is Faith Roebuck. She is a five foot eight inch sophomore, averaging 11 points per game. Number 23 is Christian Rosemerick, a five foot six inch senior. She averages eight points per game. And Natalie Gasling, the six foot sophomore, she averages 14 points and nine rebounds per game. For the Mustangs. Their lineup today looks pretty familiar. Number 11, Haley Saar, a five foot seven inch senior. Haley averages 10 points and two assists per contest. Number 12 is Denny Jacobson. She is a five foot nine inch senior. Denny pulls down eight rebounds and gathers in three steals per game. Number 13, Josie Perez leads this team in scoring. She is a five foot seven inch sophomore. She averages 16 points per game. Number 21, Ashton Sassy is a five foot eight inch junior. She averages six points per game. And number 22, Carly Hinn is a 5'11 sophomore, averaging five points and seven rebounds per game. And we would be remiss if we didn't mention Carly's outstanding tackle last night. She had one of the better tackles we've seen in the entire basketball season as she flattened a moral lion on an inbounds play. And uh, we got to give her some good-natured ribbing about that. We are just about ready to get things underway. Eight minutes on the clock. We'll update the scoreboard to reflect, to reflect that we are indeed just about ready to start the first quarter. And we will be ready to go. So it'll be Carly Hinn in the jump or in the center circle, and she'll be jumping it up against Brooke Turek. Goes up, and that tip is controlled by the Mustangs. Josie Perez puts it quickly to Ashton Sassy. Her shot won't go. There's Turek with the rebound, but it's taken away. Mustangs control it. Sassy flips it out to Perez. Perez on the floor, one dribble, shot up, well short. Carly Hinn, rebound, put back, and the Mustangs quickly on the board. Out in front, 2-0 to zero here, 7.40 to go in the first quarter. Turek, good, quick look down low for Roebuck. That won't go. Rebound and the putback that time, and... That's going to be Rose Merrick coming out of there with it. Goes back to Roebuck, and that's going to be kicked out of bounds by one of the Mustangs. It'll stay with the Bobcats. Mustangs with the early lead at 2-0. Again, these two teams met in the very first game of the season for both of them, and it was a 10-point Bobcat victory. Mustangs would certainly like to exact a bit of revenge for that loss, Rose Merrick in the corner for Turek. Three-pointer on the way. That one is off the mark, no good, but there's Roebuck with another offensive rebound. Roebuck back to Turek. Quickly inside for Gasling. Turnaround jumper, that's no good. Carly Hinn clears the rebound for the Mustangs. Gets it ahead to Ashton Sassy with 7-10 to go here in the first quarter. Mustangs still up 2-0. Ashton Sassy on the wing to Haley Saar. Now they'll skip it across. Now down low in the corner for Jacobson. Working against his own defense, and 
Uh, the Bobcats able to get a hand in the passing lane, take it away. Here's Natalie Gasling running the floor, lays that one up, and good. So Natalie Gat Gasling, the six-foot sophomore, running the floor well that time, lays that one up and in and ties it for the Bobcats at two apiece with 6.40 to go now in the first quarter. First quarter. In the corner for Sassy. Tried to get it in low for uh, Carly Hinn, but it's kicked out of there. Ball loose on the floor. Jump ball called, and it will be Hemingford Bobcat basketball with 6.23 to go in the first quarter. Mustangs trying to diagnose that zone defense of the Hemingford Bobcats. Haley Saar gets the shoe tied. She's ready for action. And the Mustangs ready to go. They love to play this 1-3-1 zone defense. They've worked on it all season. They've consistently got better with it. And when it's working right, it is a very difficult defense to deal with. As there's another offensive rebound by Roebuck. Quickly inside for Gasling. Her shot is no good. Battle for the rebound, and that's going to be another tie-up called. And this time, it'll go back over to the Mustangs with 6.01 to go. Now the Bobcats going to apply some full court pressure here as they get it into Hinn. She hands it off to Josie Perez. Dribbles ahead, now crosses the timeline as she gets it to Sassy. Sassy ahead to Jacobson under the basket, and that is good. Two more for the Mustangs. Denny Jacobson on the board. She had 10 in last night's game, and it's a two-point Mustang lead. Turek rifles it down low. That shot no good. A lot of contact inside, and another jump ball called. And this one will stay with the Bobcats. Kenna Campbell now into the game as she'll take the place of Ashton Sassy. Ashton looks like she's got some hair work to do there and gets that taken care of over on the bench. 5.40 to go. Brooke Turek in the corner. Turek going to light it up for three. That one won't go. And the rebound by Carly Hinn. Gets it out to Josie Perez, and she'll bring it up the floor. Mustangs going to push it. Josie Switches hands, and now she has it taken away by Rosemarick. Rosemarick has Roebuck under the basket. She lays it up, and we are tied at four. So a turnover by the Mustangs is now Haley Saar gets it ahead to Kenna Campbell, crosses the timeline, avoids the trap, and gets it to Haley Saar. Haley's pass knocked away, and that's taken away, picked up by Gasling. She gets it ahead to Brooke Turek coming down the left side. Turek going to pull it back and try the three-pointer again. That one's well short. And the rebound by Perez. Mustangs want to push it, but Turek steps in front of the pass and takes it away. This is a very good defensive team, the Bobcats. And here comes Haley Saar. It's a foot race to the end. Haley up and good. Haley Saar, her first two of the game. And it's a 6-4 to four Mustang lead with 4.40 to go. And head coach... Dave Chatelain for the Bobcats wants to talk this one over. 4.38 to go first quarter, and it is the Mustang 6 and the Bobcats 4. Grocery Mart in Gordon is proud to support the Gordon Rushville Mustangs. Stop in at 228 North Main Street for all of your grocery needs. Agent Bob Alcorn of State Farm Insurance is proud to support the Mustangs. State Farm specializes in farm and ranch insurance. Be sure to ask them about impact-resistant shingles. Stop in at 127 North Main Street in Gordon. Doing the math on this, looks like we've got upwards of 50 computers tuned in already here this afternoon. And so glad to have everyone with us. And they go inside for Gasling. Her shot won't go. And rebounded by the Mustangs. They get it ahead to Haley Saar. Haley stops, leaves it for Hinn. Hinn tries to get it back to Haley Saar, but trailing defense catches up, and the Bobcats tip it out of bounds. But the Mustangs will maintain control. They'll have the basketball under their own basket with 4.20 to go in the first quarter and a 6-4 lead. Josie Perez into the lane, draws some contact. They're going to say the foul on the floor. This will be the first foul of the game, and let's see who they're going to give that to. I believe that is Emily Hansen that's in the game now for the first time for the Bobcats. Mustangs barely get it in. Perez tracks it down. Now to Saar, tried to go back in to Perez on the give and go. 
Denny Jacobson tries the shot, can't get it to fall, and here come the Bobcats. Rose Merrick quickly up the floor. She's cut off by Campbell. Rose Merrick, now she's going to try the shot, has it blocked. Campbell comes out of there with it, trying to get it down the floor to Haley Saar, but nothing there, and the Mustangs will set it up with 3.45 to go. Campbell kicks it out for Saar, good move. Pull-up jumper by Haley Saar. She hits the deck, rebounded by Kenny Campbell. Her putback won't go. Carly Hinn can't get the follow to go. And finally, Josie Perez gets the rebound, and she is fouled on the putback. So that'll put Perez at the line of the As Perez misses the first. I'm sure that was 44. They haven't put that up on the scoreboard. Now Carly Hinn comes out, and Keeley Campbell into the game for the first time for the Mustangs. 3.34 to go. Josie Perez with one more free throw on the way. That is good. Extends the Mustang lead to seven. Get pass across. New players in the game for the Bobcats. Ashley Gallus now in there, along with Caitlin Kumpf. And Caitlin Kumpf going to draw the foul, and she'll head to the free throw line for two free throws. They'll give that foul to Keeley Campbell, and that is her first. So Kumpf lines up the free throw, and it is good. Makes it back to a two-point lead at 7-5. to five. Kumpf's second shot falls off no good. Keeley Campbell with the rebound, gets it to Ashton Sassy. Ashton will switch to the left hand and bring it up as she works against Brooke Turek. Turek picks her pocket, ball loose on the floor. Tie-up going to be called, but it'll be Mustang basketball. 3.06 to go. And Brooke Turek got a hand in there and knocked that ball loose. Mustang's lucky to maintain possession here. So Haley Saar gets it in. They work against the 2-1-2 zone defense by the Bobcats. Maybe more of a 1-3-1 look, actually, in the corner for Jacobson. Now back the corner for Sassy, and they're going to say we've got a three-second violation called on the Mustangs, and they'll turn it over. Bobcat basketball with 2.55 to go in the first quarter. Mustangs lead this one 7-5. to five. High entry pass to Gasling. They're rifling around. That shot is up and good by Ashley Gallus, and we are tied at 7 with 2.35 to go in the first quarter. Kenna Campbell brings the ball up the floor, and now they've got her hung up out near the half-court line. Ashton Sassy saves it, and Ashton traveled with it. Ashton wanted to go inside for Keeley Campbell, realized she was covered. Too much motion there, and she drugged the pivot foot. Another Mustang turnover, and back to the Bobcats with 2.25 to go first quarter. Brooke Turek puts it in high gear and heads up the floor. Turek. Tried to get it inside for Gasling, but that's tipped out of bounds by Ashton Sassy on the good defensive play. And so the Bobcats will inbound the basketball. And now we've got some substitutes coming in as Roebuck comes in along with Rose Merrick as Kumpf. And can't see who else that was that left for the Bobcats. They'll get it into Roebuck. Her shot is good. She was on the line, so it's only a two-pointer. Roebuck with four points in the game, and it's the first lead of the game for the Bobcats at 9-7. to seven. That one through the legs, through everybody, and out of bounds, and another turnover. So turnovers on three straight possessions for the Mustangs here as they give it back to the Bobcats with two minutes to go in the first quarter, and the Bobcats now holding the 9-7 to seven lead. They go high post for Hansen. She drives to the hoop, lays it up, and good with a good aggressive move that time. It's now a four-point Bobcat lead with 1.45 to go. It's 11-7. Saar drives in, kicks it out for Sassy in the corner for Perez. Her shot well beyond the basket. There's a rebound and a putback by Jacobson. A lot of contact underneath, but no call, and the Bobcats come out of there with it. They go ahead to Hanson. Hanson looks down for Roebuck. High off the glass, and good. Faith Roebuck has six. And it is a six-point lead for the Bobcats now at 13-7. to seven. Inside, up, and good! Josie Perez with the basket and a chance at the three-point play. Now Ashton Sassy will head to the bench as Kenna Campbell comes in. 
Kumpf back into the game for the Bobcats as she replaces Gallus. They give that foul to Roebuck. That is her first, and the free throw is good. So the three-point play pulls the Mustangs back within three at 13-10 to 10 with 1-10 to go in the first quarter. In the corner for Kumpf. Kumpf has her pass blocked by Perez, slapped back in her face, and then slapped out of bounds by Perez. And the Bobcats will inbound it or attempt to again. And Perez is just all over Caitlin Kumpf there. Kumpf can't do anything to get that ball past Josie Perez. Finally, they'll get it into Brooke Turek with 1.02 to go in the first quarter, and Turek will set it up. Bobcats work against this 1-3-1 zone of the Mustangs. Roebuck back to Turek. High post for Gasling. Gasling hands it off to Roebuck. Now back to Turek. Good defense here by the Mustangs. Faith Roebuck lines that one up and missed badly that time. 41 seconds left for the Mustangs to work here in the first quarter. They trail it 13 to 10. In the corner for Campbell, Kenna Campbell. She tries to go inside. And the jump ball alternating possession back to the Bobcats with 33.3 seconds left to go in the first quarter. It is a 13 to 10 Bobcat lead. Brooke Turek crosses the timeline and the Bobcats go to work. Under 25 seconds left now. They tried to go inside, that slapped away. Here comes Haley Saar. Got two defenders in front of her all the way in, high off the glass, and good. Great work that time by Haley Saar. She's got four points, and that brings it back to a one-point game at 13 to 12. Ten seconds left to go in the half. Brooke Turk just crosses the timeline to Gasling. Gasling back to Turk. Going to try the long three-pointer at the buzzer. That one's off the mark, no good. And the first quarter ends, and it is a 13 to 12. Bobcats lead it by one. New Holland has equipped farmers with the right technology for over a century and continues to provide smart innovations like our exclusive corn rower attachment for our CR Series Combine. We make certain you have all the tools to grow your bottom line while improving efficiency and productivity, allowing you to work smarter in order to spend more time with the ones you love. That's New Holland Smart. Visit your local New Holland dealer today. So we are just about ready to get the second quarter underway and in an eerily similar setup to last year's Western Trails Conference Tournament as the Mustangs defeated the Moral Lions in the first round. They had to go on the road to do that last year and then faced the Hemingford Bobcats in the second round and they upset the Bobcats here in the semifinals a year ago before losing to the Mitchell Tigers in the championship game. They'd like for part of that process to repeat itself as they would dearly love to knock off the Bobcats again here this year. Last year they escaped with a 52 to 49 win. They had to come from behind to do it and they did it in amazing fashion. And they're trying to pull one out again here as we're just underway in the second quarter. Mustangs trail by one, 13 to 12. Haley Saar just inside the line. That one won't go as Josie Perez with the rebound, the putback, and she is fouled. So Josie Perez is two for three from the free throw line this afternoon. They give that foul to Gasling. That is her first, and the first free throw falls off no good. 7.47 to go, second quarter. The second one also in and out, and the rebound by Gasling. Finds Turek. And the Bobcats get ready to go to work on offense. Roebuck back to Turek. In the corner for Rose Merrick. Skip it across to Roebuck in the corner for Gasling. Her shot off the mark and picks up the long rebound. And then she is blocked, but they're going to say that somebody got a little bit too much. They're going to give that foul to Carly Hinn. That is her first. And it'll put Natalie Gasling at the free throw line for her first two tries of the day. 7.26 to go, second quarter, 13 to 12, Bobcat lead. First free throw is good. Now a two point lead at 14 to 12. And Gasling with one more free throw on the way. And that one falls off no good, rebounded by Hinn. She finds Josie Perez 
Al Perez going to stop and try to find somebody. Gets it to him at the high corner. That's Ashton Sassy three-pointer. Good! Ashton Sassy for three. Ashton on the board for the first time today. That puts the Mustangs back in the lead by one at 15 to 14. Now Turek in the corner for Rosemarick. Down low for Gasling. Inside, that's Kumpf. Has her shot blocked, and then the shot is good and a chance for the three-point three play by Faith Roebuck. She's got eight points. They'll give that foul to Josie Perez. That is her first. That is the third team foul on the Mustangs. Four team fouls for the Bobcats. 6.49 to go as the score now 17-15 to 15 as the free throw is good. A two-point Bobcat lead. Perez avoids the trap, gets it to Sassy. She gets it to Jacobson, finds Perez inside. Turnaround jumper in the lane is good. Nice job by Perez. She had a rough go of it last night in the first half offensively as she finished with just a single free throw at halftime, but ended up putting in eight points in the second half as there's a shot no good and a rebound by the Mustangs. Hinn ahead to Saar. Saar one-on-one -on -one works against Robach. Shot up, wild shot no good as Roebuck able to force Haley to alter the shot there. We are tied at 17 with 6.10 to go. Roebuck at the other end can't get the rebound to go, and Haley Saar picks up the thank you rebound as that pretty much falls in her lap, and she'll cross the timeline with it. Now Haley sets it up and gets it across to Ashton Sassy. High post for Carly Hinn. Now back out to Sassy and across to Saar. Inside for Hinn. Hinn tries to go baseline for Jacobson and has it taken away by Turek. Ashton Sassy didn't get a hand on it, out of bounds, and it'll go back over to the Mustangs. Kenna Campbell and Keeley Campbell now into the game as Hinn and Sassy head to the bench. Tied at 17 with 5.43 to go here in the second quarter. We knew this was going to be a good one coming in. It's lived up to the billing so far as we are tied at 17 midway through the second quarter. Denny Jacobson in the corner. Now they'll trap her, trying to get out of that. And that's going to be taken away by Christian Rosemarick. Good defense that time by the Bobcats as they got Jacobson trapped down in the corner. And she throws it away. 5.22 to go. They go into Emily Hansen. And Hansen loses the handle. Haley Saar comes up with it. Saar in and has it slapped away and taken away by Brooke Turek. Brooke Turek racing to the basket. She is going to be fouled by Denny Jacobson. And she'll head to the free throw line. Denny Jacobson would rather take that foul than give up the easy layup to Brooke Turek. And that'll put Turek at the line for two free throws. Four team fouls now for each of these teams with 5.08 left to go in the second quarter. Turek lines up the first, and it is good. And makes it a one-point game, 18-17, in favor of the Bobcats. One more on the way here for Turek. And that one's off the back iron, no good. Rebounded by Perez. Perez gets it ahead to Kenna Campbell, gathers it in, heads to the basket, puts up the shot. That's no good. Gasling there to clear the rebound for the Bobcats. Rosemarick heaves a baseball pass down the floor, trying to get it to Brooke Turek in the corner. And uh, the two of them... Not able to make connections. It sails out of bounds, and they'll turn it back over to the Mustangs with five or 4.50 now to go in the first half. Saar in the corner for Jacobson. Jacobson looks, looks on the floor. Now she'll skip it across, nearly taken away. Brooke Turek nearly got a hold of it again, but it's out of bounds, and the Mustangs will maintain possession. So very dangerous with those long passes as Kumpf back in along with Gallus for the Bobcats. Long passes, uh, and this is a fast and athletic Bobcat team. Better make good passes. And there's another one that's poked away, and Josie Perez going to be called for the foul. Not a good pass. She crashes into Ashley Gallus, and Josie picks up her second foul of the half. 4.28 to go here in the second quarter. 18 to 17, Bobcat lead. And Ashton Sassy checking in at the next dead ball.
That shot off no good. Rebounded by Kumpf. Her put back misses everything. Gallus tracks down the rebound, and she's able to throw that off of Kenna Campbell out of bounds, and it'll stay with the Bobcats. Sassy now comes in, and Haley Saar heads to the bench. 4.11 to go in the second quarter. Turek tosses it in. Kumpf three-pointer is good. Caitlin Kumpf has four points, increases the Bobcat lead to four at 21 to 17. In the corner for Perez, three-pointer answers it right back. Josie Perez, 4-3, back within one at 21 to 20. Brooke Turek into the paint, puts up the shot. Hansen is there to gather it up, and then we've got a battle, and I think we've got a foul called on Keeley Campbell. Referee's going to talk it over. They'll say the foul is on the floor, and the foul is on Keeley Campbell. That is her second. That is the sixth team foul on the Mustangs, and so from here on out, the Bobcats will be in the one-and-one. 3.44 one. to go. Turek, three-pointer. That one's off the mark, but there's Gasling with the rebound, the putback. Gasling has five, and it's a three-point game at 23-20 with three-and-a-half to go in the first half. Ashton Sassy tries to fling that one into the high post. Instead, it's knocked out of there. She tracks it down, and she'll set it up. Dangerous cross-court pass again to Kenna Campbell. In the corner for Perez. Perez up to Kenna Campbell. Kenna into the paint, puts up the shot, high off the glass, won't go. Rebounded by Kumpf, quickly ahead to Gallus. Gallus down the floor, lays it up. That one falls off no good. And there is Josie Perez for the rebound. And we've got a timeout on the floor called by the Mustangs. 2.56 to go in the second quarter. And it's the Bobcats 23 and the Mustangs 20. And the good folks at Gordon True Value can get you fixed up with just about anything that you might need. Whether you need to winterize it or defrost it, Buck and the crew can get you fixed up. Stop in at True Value in downtown Gordon. We are getting close to 100 viewers here, or 100, 100 uh, computers tuned in, and so glad to have everybody along with us. Take this opportunity to remind you to, uh, to post a tweet that includes the handle at SC Journal Star, and we'll pick those up. We'll have our ticker running at halftime. Let us know who you're watching with, where you're watching from, and we'll have that ticker running during the halftime break. Under three to go now until the half. 23-20, Hemingford with the lead. Kenna Campbell gets hung up, and a quick held ball call that time, and the alternating possession gives it back to the Bobcats. Bobcats with the ball and a three-point lead with 2.42 to go in the second quarter. Turek cross court to Rose Merrick. Rosemarick on the wing, across to Turek. High post for Hansen in the corner for Rosemary, or excuse me, that is Roebuck. They go inside for Kumpf. She finds Hansen all alone under the basket, and Emily Hansen adds two more, and it's a five-point lead for the Bobcats at 25-20 to with 2.15 to go before the half. Carly Hinn now in the game, tries to... Go down low for Kenna Campbell, but a push going to be called on one of the Bobcats. And that is Emily Hansen, and that is her third. So the third foul on Emily Hansen, and the fifth team foul now on the Bobcats. Gasling has to come back in after a very short breather. So they get it in to Hinn, but she can't handle it. Luckily, Haley Saar is there. She has her shot blocked, and it's tipped out of bounds by the Bobcats. It'll stay with the Mustangs with 2.05 to go in the second quarter. 25-20, Bobcat lead. Get it in to Jacobson up top for Perez. Now back to Kenna Campbell, three-pointer. That one won't go. Roebuck with the rebound. Under two to go. Rosemarick down the left side. Drives in, 
Shot up and good. Christian Rose Merrick on the board for the first time. And now it is a seven-point Bobcat lead with 1.45 to go. And that one's poked away from Haley Saar. Turek comes out of there with it. Quickly ahead to Rose Merrick. Tried to get it to Gasling. Tipped out of bounds by Kenna Campbell. And a good hustle play that time by Campbell to get back and save the easy layup. 1.39 to go and a seven-point Bobcat lead. Mustangs need to get a stop here. They don't want to let this lead get too big. Turek, pull-up jumper, falls. It is good. And Brooke Turek now with three. And it's a nine-point Bobcat lead. We're under a minute and a half to go in the second quarter. Perez out on that left wing. Gets it around to Kenna Campbell. Mustangs having some trouble getting into an offensive rhythm here. Kenna tees it up for three, and that one falls off and out of bounds. It'll go back over to the Bobcats with 1.13 to go. Haley Saar heads to the bench. As Ashton Sassy now back into the game for the Mustangs. 1.10 left to go, first half. Turek drives down. Now she's Hung up on the wing, into the corner for Rose Merrick. Rose Merrick back up to Turek. Back in the corner for Rose Merrick. They try to go inside for Kump, and she traveled with it. When you lean on that, it's bobbing up and trying to just keep it a light touch. So under 45 to go now, and a 29-20 game. Mustangs wanting to cut into this nine-point lead. Carly Hinn, travel but no call, puts it up and good. And the Mustangs will take it, Carly's got four. Cuts the lead to seven at 29-22 and we got a foul on the floor and that'll mean free throws for the Bobcats. As Faith Roback heads to the free throw line for two free throws. They give that foul to Denny Jacobson, that is her second. So Roebuck's first free throw falls off no good. So it is a seven-point lead with 29 and a half seconds left. Keeley Campbell comes into the game to replace Denny Jacobson and to try and keep Jacobson from getting a third foul here in the last 30 seconds of this second quarter. Roebuck's second free throw is good. She's got 10 points on the half. Kenna Campbell brings it up. They trail 30 to 22. Campbell picks up her dribble. Now she needs some help. Roebuck had designs on stealing that pass. Here's Perez with the runner in the lane and good. So Josie Perez getting it done for the Mustangs. Under 10 to go and a six point game at 30 to 24. Turek, three pointer at the buzzer. That one's short, no good. Rose Merrick with the putback. That won't go and neither will Gaslings. And so the half ends. The Mustangs trail by six at 30 to 24. Get those tweets in. We'll have that ticker running at the half. The Bobcats with a six point lead, 30 to 24, here on Sheridan County Journal Star.net coverage of Mustang Basketball 2015.
So let's take a look at some unofficial scoring totals here at the half. For the Mustangs, Josie Perez leads the way. She's got 11. Haley Saar and Carly Hinn each have four. Ashton Sassy with three. And Denny Jacobson with two. When in terms of fouls, oh, let's see. Let's take a look at uh, free throws. Mustangs two for five from the free throw line. And all of those free throws coming from Josie Perez. In terms of fouls, the Mustangs, three players with two fouls, Denny Jacobson, Josie Perez, and Keeley Campbell, all with two fouls, Carly Hinn with one. For the Hemingford Bobcats, it's Faith Roebuck doing the damage for them. She's got ten points. Natalie Gasling has five. Caitlin Kumpf and Emily Hansen each with four points. Brooke Turek with three, and Ashley Gallus has two. The Bobcats five for nine from the free throw line in the first half. Emily Hansen has three, uh, three fouls, Natalie Gasling with one, and Faith Roebuck also with one. At the half, it is Hemingford 30 and Gordon Rushville 24 here on Sheridan County Journal Star.net coverage of Mustang Basketball 15. Six and a half from this afternoon. Glad to have such a big audience here this afternoon for semifinal action in the Western Trails Conference between the Hemingford Bobcats and the Gordon Rushville Mustangs. The Bobcats lead it at the half, 30 to 24. Make sure that you say thanks to the sponsors of today's action. If it weren't for them, we couldn't be here this afternoon bringing you this wonderful basketball action. Family owned since 1932, Strong Insurance is your independent insurance company offering all forms of insurance. Stop in today at 224 North Main Street in Gordon. Call and see her in person at 300 South Main Street in Gordon. The First National Bank of Gordon proudly celebrates 125 years of locally made decisions and supporting our community. Stop in at 134 North Main Street in Gordon or call them at 282-0050.
and Essence provides beautiful, fresh-cut flower arrangements for any occasion. They have a great selection of fine wines and gift items, including Kringle candles. If you're looking for a place to go for a Valentine's gift for your sweetheart, stop in and see the good folks at Essence at 117 North Main Street in Gordon, and they will make sure that Valentine's Day is one that you will always remember. Grocery Mart, Grocery Mart in Gordon is proud to support the Gordon Rushville Mustangs. Stop in at 228 North Main Street for all of your grocery needs. Agent Bob Alcorn of State Farm Insurance is proud to support the Mustangs. State Farm specializes in farm and ranch insurance. Stop in at 127 North Main Street in Gordon. And the good folks at Gordon True Value can get you fixed up with just about anything that you might need. Whether you need to winterize it or defrost it, Buck and his crew can take care of it. Stop in at True Value in downtown Gordon. So we are just about ready to get the second half underway here from the Cougar Palace on the campus of WNCC. Glad to be here with you this afternoon. So it will be Mustang basketball as we come out of the halftime break. Mustangs trail by six and I remind you that last year the Mustangs were down by a bundle in the second half and came all the way back and ended up winning by three in the final minute. It was a thrilling finish. We hope they can repeat that process again here this afternoon and find their way into the finals. Winner of this game takes on Mitchell and that's not the way the Mustangs envisioned this half starting as Faith Roebuck takes it away but she turns it right back over. Josie Perez picks it off and here come the Mustangs. Perez into the lane, little floater is good. Josie Perez cuts that lead down to four points with 7.38 to go. It's now 30 to 26 Bobcats. Brooke Turek drives in, down low, finds Caitlin Kumpf. She can't get the shot to go and rebounded by Gasling. Gasling feeds Turek, shot up, That or excuse me, that's Rose Merrick. Couldn't get her shot to go, but she is fouled and Christian Rose Merrick will head to the free throw line. Rosmerick with two points on the afternoon. They give that foul to Denny Jacobson, and that is her third, and that is not something that the Mustangs wanted to have happen here this early in the second half as Rosmerick makes the first, and it's now 31-26. to 26. Jacobson going to have to head to the bench. She'll be, be replaced by Kenna Campbell. And... That second free throw also good. Jacobson, one of those grinders inside that the Mustangs can't afford to lose. They kick it outside. Ashton Sassy for three. In and out, no good. Carly Hinn with a battle for the rebound. Hinn going to come down and with it, but it's going to be tied up, and they'll turn it back over on the alternating possession to the Bobcats with 7.13 to go. It's 32-26. to 26. Back to a six-point lead. Turek brings it up the floor as the Bobcats set the offense, going to work against this 1-3-1 one, one of the Mustangs. Gasling way outside. That won't go, and the rebound comes down to Rose Merrick. Her putback won't go. Gasling in there, battling for the rebound and the putback. She is fouled, and Gasling now heads to the line. Gasling one for two from the free throw line this afternoon. And they'll give that foul to Carly Hinn. That is her second. Gasling's first free throw is good. And now Jacobson back into the game to replace Hinn. And now we've got a problem with Gasling apparently has lost a contact. Apparently she only needs to be able to see with one eye to make a free throw as the first one was good. Now she's got some solution from Gallus. Oh, she, the Hemingford crowd giving her a round of applause. She said, no, it's not that big a deal. I'm all right. Got it in. Everybody's happy and we're ready to get back to basketball. 6.54 to go and one more free throw coming for Natalie Gasling. 
Free throw is up, and that one's off no good. Brooke Turek coming over the back. She's going to draw the foul. Little too aggressive that time, and that is just the first on Turek. 6.54 to go, third quarter. It is now a seven-point Bobcat lead. That equals the biggest lead of the game for Hemingford at 33-26. to 26. They get it ahead to Perez. Perez with the left hand, drives to the baseline. Now she drives in, and that's going to be tipped out of bounds by Gasling. Mustangs maintain possession. Third quarter action, semifinals, Western Trails Conference. They get it in to Perez. Quick shot off the inbounds. That won't go. Rebounded by Kumpf. And here comes Turek, quickly ahead to Gasling. Gasling turns, finds Roebuck under the basket. Her shot is blocked, but Gasling is there to clean it up. Gasling with eight points now, and it's a nine-point lead at 6.25 to go. Into the corner for Perez. Perez tries to avoid the trap. Rosemarick reaches in and ties her up, but the ball will stay with the Mustangs on the alternating possession. Keeley Campbell comes in. She'll replace Ashton Sassy, Kumpf heads to the bench, and Emily Hansen comes into the game. Hansen, of course, with three fouls. And there's a miscommunication as Jacobson tried to kick it out to Josie Perez, and Josie had moved on, sails out of bounds, and they turn it back over to the Bobcats with 6.15 to go in the third quarter. 35-26, it's a nine-point Bobcat lead. Gasling inside, jumper... That won't go. Rebounded by Keeley Campbell. Keeley finds Denny Jacobson. She'll get it to Kenna Campbell. And Kenna will bring it up the floor under six to go in the third quarter. High post for Keeley Campbell. Turnaround jumper off the glass too hard. Jacobson is there. And Jacobson is going to get Emily Hansen to commit her fourth foul. They do give it to Hansen. They're going to say that Jacobson was in the act of shooting. She'll have a pair of free throws. 5.47 to go in the third quarter. And the first free throw by Jacobson is good. Denny now with three points. Hansen out. And Caitlin Kumpf back into the game for the Bobcats. Denny's second free throw off the front of the rim. Rebounded by Turek. So it's an eight-point game, 5.42 to go, third quarter. Mustangs trying to hang around as that shot won't go. Caitlin Kumpf can't get the rebound and, or the put back to go, and the tie-up alternating possession to the Bobcats. Turek over the top to Gasling, three-pointer off the back of the rim, no good. Kenna Campbell clears the rebound, gets it ahead to Haley Saar. Haley quickly up the floor. Haley across to Perez. Perez, little runner, that won't go. Perez gets her own rebound. Shot won't go, but she'll have free throws. See who they, they're going to give this foul to Rosemerick, and that'll be her first. And Perez at the line. Perez, two for five as the first one is good. Makes it 28 to 35. And the second free throw also good for Josie Perez. Perez now with 15 points in the game. 5-10 to go, third quarter. Turek on the wing. Tries to go high post, picked up by Roebuck. On the baseline for Kumpf, throws it out there. Now a race for it, and Roebuck tracks it down, but they're going to call over and back, and it'll be Mustang basketball as Haley Saar didn't get a hand on that, and it's a backcourt violation and a turnover to the Mustangs as we now are under five minutes to go in the third quarter and an eight-point lead for the Bobcats. Saar goes high post for Keeley Campbell. Finds Jacobson all alone in good. Denny Jacobson with five points, and it cuts the lead back to four at 35 to 31. Brooke Turk can't get the shot to go, and now we've got a foul on one of the Mustangs. That'll be Josie Perez, and that is Josie's third foul. 
So the Mustangs' leading scorer picks up her third foul with 4.35 to go in the third quarter. In the corner for Turek. Inside, that's Gasling. Her jumper won't go. Kumpf with the rebound. Now quickly out to Haley Saar. Haley down the floor. Avoids Turek. Lays it up and good. Six points for Haley, and it's back to a four-point game. Thirty-five. Oh, two-point game. 35-33. Scoreboard operator here is just a little on the slow side. Coach Dave Chatelain for the Bobcats wants to talk this one over. They led by nine. It's now been cut to just two, 35 to 33 with 4.15 left to go in the third quarter. This is the 2013 Ford Explorer that I bought from Sides and Milburn Ford in Rushville, and it is awesome. It has the sync system and my Ford Touch that allows me to control everything with ease. Climate control, navigation, entertainment, I can even connect my smartphone for hands-free dialing. The all-wheel drive feature of the Ford Explorer might be what I like the best. This is the most sure-footed vehicle I have ever owned, and it is terrific on snow and ice, which I really love this time of year. Stop in and check out a Ford Explorer today at Sides and Milburn Ford in Rushville. So back to third quarter basketball action, semifinals of the Western Trails Conference Tournament. And the Bobcats lead the Mustangs by two, 35 to 33, 4.15 to go here in the third quarter. Mustangs back in that 1-3-1 zone. Brooke Turk sets it up, dribbles to her right. Back across, Gasling, foot on the line. That one's off the back iron, no good. Battle for it, pulled out of there by Roebuck. Roebuck tries to Pass it, has it taken away, and here comes Ashton Sassy the other way. Ashton tries to get that one ahead to Haley Saar, and here comes Roebuck back the other way. Roebuck all the way in, lays it up, and good. Faith Roebuck has 12. 37-33. That one nearly taken away by Turek. Kenna Campbell drives all the way in, lays it up, and no good. And we got another... Quick held ball call. This time it's going to benefit the Mustangs as they have the possession arrow this time. And it'll stay with the Mustangs. 3.34 to go, third quarter, 37-33. Healy, one dribble, kicks it out for Ashton Sassy. Three-pointer on the way. That one's short and rebounded by Gasling. Gasling hands it off to Brooke Turek, and she'll bring it up with 3.15 to go, third quarter. On the wing for Christian Rose Merrick. Rosemarek back up top for Roebuck. Roebuck has it poked away by Saar, but Rosemarek gathers it in. In the corner for Turek. Inside for Gasling. Gasling uses that body, pushes Denny Jacobson out of the way, and scores two more. Denny Jacobson having to be extremely careful with her three fouls, not able to get real physical there on the defensive end, and it's back to a... Six-point game at 39-33. That pass is too tall for Haley Saar and out of bounds. And the Mustangs turn it over again. 2.41 to go. Now Haley Saar trying to contest the inbounds pass. Nearly gets it taken away. But here comes Brooke Turek all the way in. Now she'll leave it for Gasling. And her jumper is good. So Natalie Gasling out of that timeout with four points. And the lead now back to 41-33 with 2.25 to go. In the corner for Jacobson. High post for Keeley Campbell. Her shot up and won't go. Rosemarek with the rebound, and here comes Brooke Turek. Turek tries to go down low for Gasling. Gasling kicks it out. Roebuck, her shot off, no good. Rebounded Keeley Campbell. Two minutes to go now in the third quarter. 41 to 33. And we got a timeout called. On the floor by the Mustangs. 1.56 to go, third quarter, 41 to 33. New Holland has equipped farmers with the right technology for over a century and continues to provide smart innovations like our exclusive corn rower attachment for our CR Series Combine. We make certain you have all the tools to grow your bottom line while improving efficiency and productivity allowing you to work smarter in order to spend more time with the ones you love. That's New Holland Smart. 
Visit your local New Holland dealer today. We are ready for third quarter action to get back underway here. 41-33, Bobcats lead it by eight. Mustangs had cut that lead down to two, and it's expanded back to eight. Coach Holbert has them coached up and ready to try and chip away here as they go to the top of the key to Perez, now back to Haley Saar. Saar guarded closely by Rose Merrick. In the corner. Kenna Campbell able to save that. They try to go to Keeley Campbell in the high post, but it's taken away by Brooke Turek. And quickly ahead, here's Rose Merrick. She gathers it in, kicks it back out. Turek, jumper, good. <laughs> Brooke Turek with five. And it's a 10-point lead, the biggest of the game for the Bobcats at 43-33. to 120 to go in the third quarter. Mustangs need to maintain contact here as we head for the fourth as Perez has her shot blocked. Now loose on the floor, comes out to Rose Merrick. Rose Merrick brings it up the left side as we're now under a minute to go in the third quarter. In the corner, that's Gallus. Gallus shot short off the front of the rim, out of bounds, off of the Mustangs. It'll stay with the Bobcats as Faith Roebuck checks back into the game. And that'll be Brooke Turek that'll head to the bench for a little bit of a breather with 55 seconds left to go. And the Bobcats holding a 10-point lead, 43-33. to 33. In the corner, Rose Merrick, shot, no good. And the rebound cleared by Denny Jacobson. Gets it to Josie Perez. Perez, now she'll peel it back out and get it to Kenna Campbell. Kenna across to Haley Saar. Haley tied up, and we're going to have a reach-in foul. Check, check, check. It's got a message that says that our sound is off. Gallus picks up her first. I've got a message that says the sound is off, but everything here looks like it is right as Keeley Campbell heads to the free throw line after the second foul on Natalie Gasly. First free throw is good. And now the message says that we are live. We do have sound as Keeley makes both of them, makes it 35-43 with 30 seconds to go here in the third quarter. There's a takeaway by Kenna Campbell, but grabbed right back by Rose Merrick. And the Bobcats back to work. Faith Roebuck on the wing, 20 seconds to go. Gasling, high post, dribbles down the lane, and she traveled. Turn it back over to the Mustangs. 15.9 seconds left to go in the third quarter, and the Mustangs trail this one by eight. 12 seconds to go as Ashton Sassy into the corner for Jacobson. Finds Campbell coming across the lane. Campbell into the lane, shot off the front of the rim, no good. Rebounded by Gasling with two seconds, and Roebuck won't get the shot off. And the third quarter comes to an end. And the Bobcats now lead it 43-35. to 35. They extend that lead by two in the third quarter. We head to the fourth. It's the Bobcats by eight. Take a look at a few of the Twitter messages that we've got coming in. We've got folks watching from Lincoln and all over the place here today and glad to have you along with us here on Sheridan County Journal Star.net coverage of Mustang Basketball 2015. So 
So ready to get the fourth quarter underway. It'll be Hemming Ford basketball to start the final frame here. And away we go. An eight point Bobcat lead to start the fourth quarter. And the Mustangs now into a 2-3 zone, trying to switch things up here a little bit on the Bobcats. Caitlin Kumpf on the baseline. Up top for Rosemarick. Rosemarick nearly has it taken away by Haley Saar. Roebuck, pull up jumper. That one's short off the front of the rim. Gasling there for the rebound. Doesn't really have position. Carly Hinn pulls the rebound out of there. Now we've got a two on one. Haley Saar has it taken away. Brooke Turek picked her pocket. Great defensive play. Now we've got a two on one the other way. Faith Roebuck can't get the shot to go. Turek with the rebound and the putback. And the lead back to 10 at 45-35 with 7.15 to go. This is exactly the way it was a year ago. The Mustangs were down big in the fourth quarter. And here's Faith Roebuck with another steal. Faith Roebuck, left hand up and good. Roebuck with 14. And that lead continues to get away from the Mustangs here. It's 47 to 35. Coach Holbert needs to stop the bleeding here. 6.55 left to go, fourth quarter, 47 to 35. Say thanks to the sponsors of today's action. Essence, the first national bank of Gordon. Share Real Estate, Strong Insurance, Gordon True Value, State Farm Insurance, Grocery Mart, Sides and Milburn Ford, Physical Therapy West, Modern Farm Equipment, Great Plains Communications, and of course, the Sheridan County Journal Star. Glad to have Nick Sassy and Sharla Roth both along with us here on the broadcast this afternoon. And the Mustangs ready to try and chip away at this 12-point lead. 6.54 to go in the fourth quarter. They trail it 47 to 35. Kenna Campbell over the top to Josie Perez. Contact the foul, they're gonna say is on the floor. And that'll be, I believe, on Natalie Gasling. It is, and that is Gasling's third. They get it into Sassy. In low to Denny Jacobson. Good, tough work inside by Denny. She gets the shot to go, cuts the lead back to 10, 47-37 with 6.35 to go. Ashton Sassy, you're gonna make Brooke Turek work for it. Now she'll drop back and fall back into that 2-3 zone. Turek content to kill a little bit of time here as the Bobcats just trying to make this clock disappear. Shorten the game if they can. Turek. Drives in, now she'll pull it back out. Flips it up top for Roebuck. Now back to Brooke Turek with 6.05 to go. They go back door for Rose Merrick. Rose Merrick, her shot up, falls in and it is good. Christian Rose Merrick now with six points and it's 49 to 37, back to a 12 point lead. In the corner for Perez, tees it up for three. Good! Josie Perez strikes again. Cuts the lead to nine at 38 to 49. Turret crosses the timeline, and the Mustangs gonna have to do something to force the issue here as now they've switched to a man-to-man -man defense, trying to make that happen. Gasling inside, working against, against um, Denny Jacobson, and she knocks that one down, and back to an 11-point game. Underneath, Carly Hinn up and good. Carly Hins has six, and the lead cut back to nine. Trading baskets here. The Mustangs need to get a defensive stop. Trying to make that happen with this man-to-man -man defense now. Backdoor cut, Faith Roebuck, good. Roebuck now with 16 points on the game. Here comes Kenna Campbell into the lane. Her shot won't go, but she is fouled, and she'll have two free throws. See who we give this foul to. And that is on, well, they said 24. There is no 24. 
And they give it to 25. That's Gasling, and that is her fourth. And that is a big blow to the Bobcats. As the first free throw by Kenna Campbell falls off no good. Gasling will have to head to the bench. And in comes Emily Hansen. And Emily Hansen also with four fouls. So both of the post players for the Bobcats now in big foul trouble. See if the Mustangs can take advantage as that free throw is no good, but it's tipped out of bounds by Hansen. It'll be Mustang basketball. So Gordon Rushville needs to make some hay here with Gasling out of the game. They go over the top to Perez. That's tipped away, and here comes Faith Roebuck across to Christian Rosmerick, shot high off the glass, and good. 55-42, it's a 13-point lead. Perez high off the glass with the runner won't go. Jacobson, the rebound, the putback, that won't go. Carly Hinn in a battle, and they're going to say Carly reached in that time. Carly picks up her third. 4.26 to go and a 13-point Bobcat lead. And this is a very, very good Bobcat team. There are only two losses to Mitchell and Shattern, and both of those teams also high-quality teams. So the Mustangs knew they'd have their hands full. They've got a tall mountain to climb here with 4.13 to go as that one slapped out. And it comes back to Roebuck. She'll hand it off to Turek with 4.05 to go in the fourth quarter. And the Bobcats with the 13-point lead. That one's taken away by Kenna Campbell. Not going to be able to get to it. It goes out of bounds, and it will stay with the Bobcats. So the Mustangs with a, an advantage in the paint now with both of the Hemingford post players with four fouls. Rose Merrick underneath can't get the shot to fall. Rebounded by Carly Hinn. Gets it out to Haley Saar. Here come the Mustangs with 3.40 to go. Haley Saar will pull it back out. Inside for Denny Jacobson. Her shot up and good. That's what the Mustangs need to do if they're going to come back in this one. Timeout called by Coach Randy Holbert. 3.33 to go fourth quarter. 55-44. to 44. It's an 11 point Bobcat lead. Agent Bob Alcorn of State Farm Insurance is proud to support the Mustangs. State Farm specializes in farm and ranch insurance. Stop in and see them at 127 North Main Street in Gordon. And Grocery Mart in Gordon is proud to support the Gordon Rushville Mustangs. Stop in at 228 North Main Street for all of your grocery needs. Mustangs trying to find a way here in the fourth quarter. And now they'll apply some full court pressure here. And we got a foul on the floor. That'll go against the Mustangs. Give that foul to Haley Saar. That is her first. Shot no good. And here comes Haley Saar back the other way. Lays it up and good. Back to a nine point lead now. Under three minutes to go. Brooke Turek crosses the timeline. Finds Emily Hansen, her shot falls good, but. And they give that foul to Carly Hinn, and that is the fifth on Carly. She has fouled out of the ball game. <laughs> Trying to adjust. First free throw is good for Emily Hansen. Trying to figure out why we didn't have any sound coming out. It's because I had moved the microphone away. Good grief. 
First free throw by Hansen is good. Makes it 56-46, back to a 10-point lead. She makes them both, and the lead now back to 11. I apologize, had moved the microphone to wet the whistle a little bit and didn't move it back. So back to work here, 2.43 to go, an 11-point lead for the Bobcats. Three-pointer on the way by Haley Saar from the corner. That one won't go. Josie Perez, rebound, put back, won't go. Rebounded by Hansen. under two and a half to go now, and time running out for the Mustangs. And Haley Saar going to draw the blocking foul, and that's not a bad thing as the Mustangs need to get try and steal some possessions here. They'll send Brooke Turek to the line for the one-and-one -one opportunity. Turek with seven points on the afternoon. She is one for two from the free throw line. First free throw is good. Pushes that lead to 12, 58 to 46, 2.25 to go in the game. Second free throw by Turek, off the back iron, and no good. Ashton Sassy, the length of the floor, lays it up, can't get the shot to go. Now they'll flip it out there, find Emily Hansen. Hansen ahead to Roebuck. Roebuck will be fouled, and she'll head to the free throw line. And I think they'll call that on Josie Perez. No, they call that on Ashton Sassy. That is her first. And it puts Faith Roebuck at the line for two free throws. She's two for three. First one is good. And the second one is good. 60 to 46 now in the corner and now taken away by Gasling. And with two minutes to go, it's now a 14 point lead at 60 to 46. And Mustangs running out of time here as Turek just gonna dribble around. Now tries to go inside, that's taken away by Ashton Sassy. 1.45 to go, here come the Mustangs. Ahead to Haley Saar, off her fingertips out of bounds and they'll turn it over to the Bobcats. Rose Merrick takes the inbounds pass. She works against Kenna Campbell. Rose Merrick up the right side. Now she's gonna be hung up and gets it to Hanson. She'll find Faith Roebuck. Roebuck drives in, left hand hard off the glass. Collision between two Mustangs, Josie Perez travels with it and they'll give it back to the Bobcats with 128 to go. So certainly not the result that the Mustangs were hoping for today. Rosemarick gets it in to Brooke Turek, 125 to go. Turek hounded by Haley Saar and Haley's gonna be called for the reach in foul and Haley really didn't think she deserved that one. But she picks up her third. That'll send Turek back to the line for the one and one and the next foul puts the Bobcats into the double bonus and it'll be two shots the rest of the way. First free throw falls in, it is good and extends the lead to 61 to 46. So the Bobcats definitely a good outfit, outfit very athletic as Turek makes them both, does what a good team does down the stretch, make those free throws, 62 to 46. In the corner for Perez, puts up the three-pointer, good! Josie Perez for three, makes it 62 to 49 with 1.12 to go, and a timeout on the floor. We've got Danny Campbell tuning in, along with Kirsten Hinn. Glad to have both of you along here this afternoon. Of course, both of them Mustang basketball alums. And Danny watching from the Half Acre Gym and on the campus of the University of Wyoming in Laramie.
So the Mustangs, late in the fourth quarter, they trail it 62 to 49. With 1.12 to go, they trail it by 13. It's certainly not out of the realm of possibility, the amount of comeback this big in this short a time, but certainly against the odds. They'll heave it the length of the floor, find Faith Roebuck. She pulls it in and lays it up for two more. Well executed that time by the Bobcats, 64 to 49, under a minute and five to go now as Perez drives all the way in, can't get the shot to fall. They're going to say it's out of bounds off of Denny Jacobson, and it'll be Bobcat basketball with 59 seconds left to go. Mustang's going to battle hard to the end, as you know they would. Gasling back to Turek. Turek will work against Haley Saar. 50 seconds to go now. Haley doing everything she can as now they get it to Roebuck. Roebuck, and she's going to be fouled by Haley Saar. That'll be Haley's fourth foul. And that stops the clock with 42.7 seconds left and a 64 to 49 lead. Puts Faith Roebuck at the line for two free throws as now they are in the double bonus. Roebuck's first free throw off the back iron and no good. Faith Roebuck with 20 points now in the game. And the second free throw also no good. Rebounded by Kenna Campbell with 40 seconds to go. Kenna quickly up the floor, crosses the timeline. Finds Josie Perez, kicks it out for Ashton Sassy. Three-pointer, that one's short, no good. Rebounded by Kenna Campbell. Her runner in the lane is no good, but she is fouled, and Kenna will head to the free throw line. Give that foul to Faith Roebuck, her second. And so Kenna Campbell, who's 0 for 1 from the free throw line tonight. 30 seconds left to go in this one. First free throw is good as Kenna gets her first point of the ball game. Makes it 64 to 50. Second free throw by Kenna Campbell is up and that one's in and out no good. Battle for the rebound. And the Mustangs almost come out of there with it, but Perez can't keep it off of the line. They'll give it back to the Bobcats with 26 seconds left to go and trailing by 14. Get it in to Gasling. Back to Turek. Turek draws the offensive foul, put her shoulder down, and gets called for the offensive foul as Ashton Sassy takes the uh, business end of that one. And the, now the Mustangs will have it back. Quickly into Perez. Perez wanted that three-pointer, but with Gasling in her face, couldn't pull the trigger. Ashton Sassy on the line. They'll give it back to the Bobcats with 13.6 seconds left to go. And all academic now as it's 64 to 50, a 14-point lead with 13 seconds to go. Hemingford calls a timeout. They're going to pull those starters out, make sure nobody gets injured on the last 15 seconds of the game here. And so the Mustangs will head to the consolation game tomorrow afternoon. That'll take place at 2 o'clock p.m. and we will be here to bring that action to you as the Mustangs will take on the Kimball Longhorns in a rematch from a game in January in which Kimball came to town and uh, really unloaded on the Mustangs, and so Mustangs hoping to get a little bit of payback for that one as they'll face off against the Kimball Longhorns. That's tomorrow afternoon at 2 o'clock, and we will be right here to bring it to you. So 13 seconds left to go in this one. And the Bobcats still with their starters in. Assumed that they would pull those starters out and make sure nobody got injured. But uh, Rose Merrick now will head to the line as she's fouled by Kenna Campbell. Kenna picks up her first. And Rose Merrick. First one is no good. She's now two for three from the free throw line. And her second free throw in and out, no good. There's Gasling with the rebound, and the putback won't go. Brooke Turek with the rebound. Pulled out of there by Kenna Campbell. 
And that's how this one will end. Bobcats prevail 64 to 50. Hemming Ford moves into the championship game where they will face the Mitchell Tigers tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow evening at 5.30. Again, make sure you join us tomorrow afternoon, 2 o'clock, Mustangs will take on the Kimball Longhorns in the consolation game. So glad to have you along with us. Stick around close by. We'll figure up some uh, unofficial final scoring totals and be back with those in just a minute. Final score, Bobcats 64, Mustangs 50. So let's take a look at some final unofficial scoring totals here for you. For the Mustangs, Josie Perez led the way. She had 21 points. Denny Jacobson added nine. Haley Saar with eight. Carly Hinn had six. And Ashton Sassy with three. And on the game from the free throw line, the Mustangs, a very respectable eight for 14. For the Bobcats, it was Faith Roebuck, Leading the way, she had 20. Natalie Gasling finished with 14. Brooke Turek added 10. Emily Hansen had 6. Caitlin Kumpf, 4. And Ashley Gallus with 2. From the line on the game, the Bobcats shot 15 for 24. Bobcats improved their record to 17 and 2. Mustangs fall to 11 and 7. Make sure you join us tomorrow afternoon. 2 o'clock, the Mustangs will take on the Kimball Longhorns in the third place game in the Western Trails Conference tournament here from Cougar Palace. That's where we're at, Cougar Palace on the campus of WNCC. Until tomorrow, this is Clint Anderson saying thanks for tuning in to Sheridan County Journal Star.net coverage of Mustang Basketball 2015.